what's up everybody welcome to another video on the youtube channel so today i'm gonna be running by you how to trade and make coins with a medium to low budget people those people that maybe haven't had the pack luck and you know don't have too many coins they got like 100 grand they have like five on um, 50 000 coins or even with people with like 200 000 coins so basically one for people that default have just like not a lot of coins and two so for example people buy icons wants to watches and team of the weeks for investments and in that case sometimes icons and team of the weeks you buy them at low and then you gotta wait for them to fluctuate you gotta wait for them to get expensive again certain time periods in a day where you buy them low and sell them high it's not an immediate flip usually and also for once to watches whenever you buy once to watches you buy them for cheap and then and you gotta wait a couple days because that's why they're cheap because people don't wanna wait and then you gotta wait a couple days for the game to come on and before the game you either can sell for safe profit or during the game you bet for them to have a good game and then they skyrocket if they have a good game so in these cases this is how i've been trading because in those cases whenever you invest in those players you're going to be low on coins because you put all those coins into investing so guys this is how i've been trading in those circumstances and if you like this video please smash that subscribe button and also hit it up with a um hit it up with a like i got a ton of socials in the bio below so if you didn't hit that up um, i appreciate you man I'm going to show you everything I've been doing on stream to make coins with a medium to low budget. Let's get straight into it. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is go to footbin.com and you will press on FIFA 21 players. Um, these will pop up and you will want to go to gold rare. Um, at this point, you press this button. It will take you from top to bottom of prices per player. And what you want to do is go to the page that has about cards that start at 10,000. Because obviously this is for low budget and this is how you're going to flip and get um, a good amount of coins. Um, so right now I'm looking for defenders that will benefit a lot with a shadow card. So starting off, maybe looking at Alexandra, you're going to look at his base price at around 8,100 um, 8, coins. Um, once again, obviously, updated 20 minutes ago, so you're going to want to go um, into the game and check. But right now, what I'm doing is getting an idea of players I want to, um, you know, try out. Usually, I try to have about five players in mind, and then I consistently rotate between those players to see if I can get a good snipe. Um, so another player, maybe um, a Rudiger, a center back that obviously would do pretty well if you put a shadow on him. If you put a shadow, it would be a really good center back uh, for an EPL team. Um, going back in, you're just going to continue to go um, down the list and you're going to search, search, search. Um, another good player, Eric Bailly, really did good for me um, earlier like earlier on. Um, same deal, EPL center back. Very popular, especially with Teles going to left back. Might be a popular deal to try to snipe with. So some of, the some of my favorite players to go with. Some of my favorite players to go with. Mr. Lodi. This man has been so profitable for me. Uh, one of my favorite cards to trade with. So, Lodi is a very good left back in a La Liga, in a La Liga team that are going to be more, like hella, hella used. Um, and then basically, right, um, links with Militao, which is a big, big deal. And then um, also Lorente, who is a very meta player. Um, so, I look at this card and I think this is going to be one of the most used left backs for meta squads. So that's why he does so well. So you check once again, we'll go into the pricing and everything to show you why I love that card so much. And another card that might pop up, firstly, you're going to have Kimbempe. See, basically, I'm going through a lot of players that are like highly used. And basically, that will, you know, as I said, really be productive with a shadow, a Lucas Hernandez maybe. So as you're like going through this and seeing what I'm doing, you're kind of getting a gist of where I'm going. And basically, um, Indon Belly did very good for me earlier in the year as well. I know he's a center mid, but he did extremely well for me. Um, another card to keep in mind. Um, and then just to kind of um, go and show you another card I recently have been using that does very well for me my man yuri my guy my guy um very cheap option um and 
Once again, another very good left back in La Liga. La Liga being a very popular league to have as your defense. Um, so he is doing very well. And one last one before we go into the game, Tomori. Mateo, why are you using such a cheap, low-rated player? Ladies and gentlemen, this guy goes for about a thousand, and whenever I was checking his shadow prices, he was around three thousand. Guys, over about, dude, anything over a thousand profit, I'm okay with because if I can consistently get snipes, I know a thousand, you know, is not a lot, but yo, profit is profit, and for the most part you're going to get deals that are going to get you about 1500 to 2000 a card which is amazing 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 with this um, strategy so these are all like kind of the players getting a gist of what i'm talking about having like five of your favorite rotational players you go you search one search one search one search one it's just a endless cycle and eventually you're going to get a snipe here or there so i'm going to get into the game and show you how we basically um search and look for deals and sniping filters all right so we're going to start with my favorite player to trade with mr Lodi. so what you're going to do is you're going to set this to 50 million and what you're going to do is check what his lowest price is so his lowest price looks like he's about 3400 and just to be careful because this these markets have been very very iffy so what you're going to do is you're going to take that off and just make sure see it's kind of it it, it 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 just the market is very weird so you're just gonna want to do this and make sure it's the lowest price so it looks like his lowest play, price 33 is gonna be 33 because it's like a little weird so you just want to make sure like that lowest price is 33 or low 3200 and now you go and see what you can get if he has a shadow on it so bump it up for 2000 so his lowest price is gonna be for you know that's actually a good deal oh man see that's actually a good deal right there so his lowest price right there see I told you they pop up uh, so I can sell him at you know I could sell him at 5400 easy off the bat so I'm gonna show you this website this website is the calculator I use and it will be listed in the bio below so I can I can help you out and hook you up so as I said he goes 5400 with a shadow Double checking his base price, I believe we're looking at 3300 Just double checking right here. Cheapest price, it was 3200 excuse me. So it was 3200 So basically, you're gonna put 3200 right here. It's very best price. You're gonna make 20, you're gonna make 1900 coins a card if you can get them at his um, cheapest. But what I do is I bump this to basically when I'm a little bit over a thousand. So even if you get him at 35, look at that deal. See that for that 42. If I would have bought him, I would have made a little bit under a thousand. But man, so basically, I'm gonna put him at what? I'm gonna put him securely at 3,800. So I'm gonna put him at a secure 3,800 if I can type. There we go, perfect. So if I get him for 3,800, I make a 1,300. And if you feel like you wanna, you know, securely make profit you put him at four so what we're gonna do is we are gonna put him at four thousand right here and see if we can get any good snipes so if you can snipe this card for anything under a thousand um four thousand coins you're gonna make five uh, cheeky one thousand coins and you know they see that first one popped up so d definitely proven that you know they pop up here and there so as I said and the way to do this and not get market banned is you only search for cards of your rotation 50 times once you're done that 50 times you switch players if you continue to basically search him for like a hundred times straight you're gonna get market banned so that's why I always 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 make sure only to go to 50 tries and then I switch players so and it looks like sometimes you know sometimes you choose a player and you're gonna get a dud you're not gonna get any but that's why you have those rotational players and that's why my second card we were talking about, Mr. Yuri. So we're gonna go try Mr. Yuri, and we're gonna do the same thing. I believe he's at 1700, if I'm correct. He's about 17 to 1600, around that price range right there. Yep, about that price range, 1700, basically on a dot. So we're gonna put, we're just gonna have in the back of our head that his lowest is 1700. So now we're gonna look and see how much he is with a shadow card with a shadow card 
it looks like he sells let me see a little bit lower let's check like 35 okay so oh look at that okay so it looks like a good deal it looks like I could sell them at about 37 and once again you're gonna want to check I'm gonna take off this and I'm gonna see if that is the true price it is the true price I'm gonna go and we're gonna go back to this calculator and we are going to put in that he sells for 3800 with the shadow and he sells for about 17 so if you sniped him at the base price you're getting 1900 looking real sexy so let's say I put him out you know I, I cap it I put him up for like a hundred or five hundred more than what his lowest is I'm still making fifteen hundred a card let's just say I decide to go a thousand a thousand coins over what he goes see that's a little bit oh that's a little bit under so you want to make sure that you are making at least a thousand a card so what I'm gonna do is securely just put him up for 25 because I'm okay with that profit so you're gonna want to go and you're, you see that that's the process that you're gonna do for every single card every single card you're gonna do that process if you're gonna check his base price and then you're gonna check his shadow price you're gonna go to the calculator you're gonna see if you can get at least a good chunk of change a thousand plus for each card and if you do and if you're satisfied you're gonna go you're gonna pop this up and you are going to see if any pop up for that 50 for that 50 searches and as I said once again you're gonna only want to search 50 times and then after that 50 times you are going to want to go and you're gonna want to to switch it up so you don't get market banded that's why you have those five separate players that's why you have those five separate players and as a, you know as I said it might be looking like we you know you kind of have a couple duds and you don't get anything but guys I've gotten to that point up there where I mean I've made upwards of like 10 I've made upwards of like 10 to 20 thousand an hour sometimes just because at low points you can easily hit these and these are really good to do like the best times to do these are after rewards of squad battles and after rewards of rivals and bomb foot champs and basically like a lot of people don't look at these cards because a lot of these cards are low rated and well like low rated 83 rated and you know uh, there's everyone's moving to these huge like the huge and better sound left backs that are you know high rated like Mendy's and Davies and you know these kind of are the men that get left behind um and I'm gonna go lastly to give you a last example Mr. Tamori this dude is so underrated for the amount of profit you can get for this guy each time my man sells for only about 1100 1100 right now let's just double check with this market see with this market you gotta double check like that you gotta double check this market right now by EA is glitched and screwed <laughs> so you definitely gotta double check so let's just say he sells for a thousand he's gonna sell for a grand so now you're gonna look to see how much he sells for with a shadow card so let me see we're gonna just double check we're gonna keep searching he sells for about 2500 so once again you're gonna want to go switch it up make sure he's right 2500 coins so we're gonna switch it back obviously to our calculator we're gonna say that he sells for 2500 coins and his base price is a thousand so you're gonna be making 1300 each card let's just say we put him up for 1300 thousand coins you have a ton of Tamoris at a thousand and he's a very low rated card that probably nobody uses anymore and probably like doesn't think about anything about about him right now and this might be a card where a lot of people are going to list low because as I said 76 rated 76 rated center back a lot of people upgrade their teams by now and so right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop on for 13 and we're going to see if we can get a deal for a thousand coins and as I said you know it's just like a lot of people will be like yo like if you can't hit why are you you know continue to do this I continue to do this because you are gonna do this and you're gonna get deals that are 2,000 coins and you're gonna you know snipe um, snipe like a Lodi and he's going for like 35 and someone pops him up for two grand and it only takes 50 seconds a car like it only takes 50 seconds to search and see if you can grab a deal and like I think that 50 seconds of my life is worth trying to get a deal for a thousand coins 
And that's why I said you kind of have your rotation of five players because as I said, sometimes they're going to be a dud, but it's just different. It just depends on different times of the day. And so basically like you just go back to Lodi, you kind of just have like a rotate your rotation. Um, and you know, I actually can try in Dombele. This was another card that I was speaking about that, you know, it was a very popular card for me. Um, so this is another card on my rotation that I try out. And once again, I'm just going to try, um, go see how much he sells for a base price. So it looks like he's going, it looks like he's going to sell a little bit higher. It looks like he's going to be around 2000 coins. Wow. That was a good 1500 if I wanted to snipe him like that. Um, so it looks like he's going for around 2100 coins. So we're going to see what he goes with a shadow. And as I said, literally it is just the same deal, right? So he goes for a shadow for 4,000 coins. So 4,000 coins with the shadow and what we were looking at him at around 2100, I believe. So his base price, 2100 coins. Correct, double checking. Correct, double checking. Yep, 2100 coins. So 2100 coins, if you snipe them as low as, it's gonna be 1700 profit. As I say, I go a cheeky like couple hundred over. Let's just say 24. I'm still ma look look at that. I'm still making 24. This is why you're going with cards that are like 10 to 5,000 coins because there's not a lot of tax, right? There's not a lot of tax. There's not a lot of tax. You're gonna just want to go see maybe you get them like like I, I literally can put them up for what like 600 more. And I'm still making you know what I mean. So as I said, anything above a thousand coins, I'm good with, right? So we're gonna go and we're gonna put them up and we're gonna try 27 to be conservative, right? We're gonna try 27. We're gonna pop him up. We're gonna go with a shadow. We're gonna search 50 times and we're gonna hope that someone pops up in a non ballet thinking that he's like, you know, uh, a kind of not beautiful. Oh, they pop 2,500. This is what I'm telling you, bro. They pop. Dude, you, you know, you're like, you're over here thinking like they never pop up. There's one right there for 2,500 coins. I mean, going back to the calculator, if I put him up, I would have got sniped him for 25. I would have got 1,300 coins easy. And they pop, they pop, they pop. I, you know, trust me. Trust me, trust me. Man, dude, see, it, it just pop. You know, they pop up like this. You just got to think. You just got to think of players that might, might, might pop up. And oh man, dude, I missed that snipe. I was gonna get him, make some, make a cheeky 1300 coins. And see, you know, this is for people like once a, right now, I just bought once to watch bail, significant amount of coins. And like for people like me, I kind of want to be like, yo, I want to, I have 208,000 coins. I'm really probably going to try to invest a lot of that in once to watch cards bring it down till I have about like 50 grand and then this is what I do to consistently have my um, profit up and going so basically this is my whole rotation of what I do that calcul this calculator that I keep bringing up is going to be in the link down below but as I as you saw you know they pop up a couple times and it, it only takes 50 seconds of your life to search for each one if you have five players in a rotation, for me, it just gets super simple and you just consistently go and go and go and you're just gonna see players like that pop up here and there. You make a cut, you make a couple thousand. You know, for people with very low budgets, 5,000 coins goes a long way. And you know, in, in 10, you know, you can snipe 10 people in 10 minutes. And in 10 minutes, you can make a cut, you can, you know, you could get lucky and you can go and you can get 15 here, you can get 2,000 here, you can get 10, 1,000 here. And it's kind of just like if you have a good 10 minutes, you can make about 10,000 coins. If you have like a kind of bad 10 minutes, I sit here and I, you know, I spend 10 minutes, I get five grand. Like, you know, I, I just think it's a great method for people who don't have a lot of coins and that want to go and invest a lot into wants to watches like me, like me going to buy bail, me, I'm probably gonna buy like some wants to watch Rodrigo's, this and that. Wanting to be like, I wanna invest in all these players, but then I'm not able to trade. Yes, you are. As long as you have like 20 to 50,000 coins, you can do this all day, every single day, and then you can eventually build it up 
to pe people like Alexandro and people of higher nature that are around like 10,000 coins. But it's easy money. And once again, you want to low like if, if these cards you're using are like 5,000 coins or under, like all these Lodis, Lodis, Yuris, and Dombele's, um, Tomori's, the EA tax is so minimal that it just like barely matters. So that's why I love doing this. And if you want to watch me do this, uh, if you want to watch me do this, basically, I do this so much on my stream, which is on my Twitch, uh, Paduzzi43. All the links for my Twitter, my Instagram, my um, Twitch, and everything that you want to know is going to be in the bio down below. Um, I hope this helped you out, and I just really hope that you run this as much as you can, because you're going to be making anywhere between like a minimum of 5,000 coins in, um, every single 10 minutes. And um, I really think that that's a um, I think that's a dub. So um, thank you guys so much. I appreciate you watching, and I will see you in the next video. I'm out. Peace.